Watch that jack of clubs as it becomes the card box. another tutorial Tuesday my name is Lloyd and this is my favorite type of gimmick build because it looks like it should be really complicated but the secret is actually way easier than you'd imagine and it only takes a few minutes to build so grab yourself a card box and you're gonna cut away mostly all of the box minus the front lip the top face of the box and the left long side of the box just like you can see right here in the video now I'm going to color in the inside of the box, most of the inside. You don't have, you don't actually have to color in all of it. You can save some ink. And if you're a pro, you probably have some sort of black velvet stickers that magicians use for black art. You could just use those instead. But I don't have any black velvet stickers just yet. I have some on the way. Uh, but a Sharpie will do fine for this for today. So I color it all in black and then I just put a bend into the natural creases of the box so I know what the shape is gonna hold like. Now I take two playing cards, so I take two at once, square them up, place them inside the card box, and I'm gonna pierce two holes through the two playing cards and the box itself. A good thing with using a cork card is that it camouflages the invisible elastic thread that we're about to use. So those two holes go pretty much by where the, the jack's two chins are, and it runs all the way through the card box and the two cards. Now what I do is I'm gonna thread one simple loop through all six holes in total, but realistically two holes. I'm gonna thread one loop of thread through that and tie a triple knot in it. And I don't do this very, very tight. So, so sometimes when you use an invisible elastic thread, and there's a link down below, you can grab it on Amazon, it's called Prim Elastic Thread. Uh, sometimes when you use invisible elastic thread, you want it really, really tight. You don't wanna do that this time. You actually wanna tie it in a fairly loose knot. Not like so it's completely like dangling, but just don't pull it super taut. And then the key ingredient to making this work is that because there's not as much tension in it, because you're gonna have to stretch it quite a lot, I actually double thread it. So once I've put one thread in and tied a simple knot, I put another thread through. I tie another simple knot. And it's about the same, same amount of tension in both threads. But the double thread will help it from breaking a lot, lot longer. It lasts a lot longer, basically. So once you've done that, tie both threads, cut off any excess, and you have one last thing really to do, and that's to take a little bit of tape, fold those creased edges back up from the box, and add the tape to the corner point of where the edges meet, and that's gonna hold that box in shape. And from the correct angle, it's gonna look like an entire card box. If you want to, you can actually go ahead, like I'm doing now, and use a Sharpie to cover any excess white patches from the edges. Just literally run a Sharpie along any white bordered edges that you think could peek out when wearing a black shirt. And don't worry, by the way, if you don't want to use black art, you don't need to. I'm going to explain in just a moment how you can get away with doing this without the use of any black art. It just means you do it 180 degrees instead of a, a 360 degree uh, performance. Now, you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm carefully stretching that elastic thread because if you just try and stretch the gimmick over itself immediately, it's gonna snap. But you can actually break in elastic thread quite well. You just take your time, slowly stretch it out, and eventually it will actually be able to be a lot more stretchier than if you just try to whip it into place straight away. And if you could, could you do me a massive favor? If you enjoy this video and you like seeing all these crazy card gimmicks being built and taught for free on my channel, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's a tiny gesture that goes a long way towards helping me hit my personal goal of 100,000 subscribers. But with all that being said, let's dive into how to use the gimmick. There are two ways to perform this effect, 360 degree or 180 degrees. For the 360 version, you need to wear a black t-shirt. For the 180 degree version, you can do it in any lighting. So let me show you the 360 version. With the corner of the box pointing towards yourself, you're going to take the gimmick and slowly stretch it out, leaving one card inside the box, one card outside the box. Once it gets to about the halfway point, you're then going to fold it all the way around the box. If you try and just bend it straight around, it'll snap the elastic. And now what you're going to try and do is square these edges. I use, I use my stomach to square everything, just like that. 
And now I've got these squared edges. Shadows cast from inside the palms of your hand will help hide the black areas here and the edging, okay? So your palms or the heel of your thumbs will hide the edges here. The other important thing is that you want stronger light behind you. So you wanna cast a silhouette with your body and you should always consider trying to do that when using black art. So you want a stronger light behind you. I'm using a bright light here just so that you can see everything exposed. But you wanna get everything squared up like this. Notice I'm pinching the gimmick with my index finger and thumb of my left hand in this bottommost corner opposite to the index and the pip. All right, so I'm here. I can display front and back. I don't want to linger on the back because they might see this depending on the lighting. You just want to be able to give them that glimpse of it, okay? And then when you're ready to execute the move, you simply, I, I, what I do is I try and flick with these fingers just to give it a bit of inertia, a bit of momentum as I turn the box this way around, okay? So my left hand is gonna go from this angle and I'm almost gonna give a high five like this, okay? So I'm gonna come up and give a high five and this hand will use these two fingers here to just flick this a bit so it helps with the speed and the rotation of the gimmick, hiding what's secretly happening, okay? So I come from here in slow motion. I start like this, one, two, and then I'm gonna just flick that card inside the box and as my hand gets to that high five position, my right hand is gonna come beneath the box and hold it as you would a card box. The only tip is to not let it angle like this. You wanna try and keep it up as if it's a box of cards, okay? For the 180 degree version, it works pretty much the same, except you don't flash the back design, okay? So you start here, you tilt it so they can see it's thin, it's one thin edge, but you don't have to go as far as so they could see or, or potentially see the, this area. You're just gonna come here and tilt it back and forth. You're just gonna rock it, so you're not gonna show that back, all right? And then it works exactly the same. You just execute the move and change it into the card box. One more time for fun, here's how it looks. I come up with my jack, I make sure everything's square. I say, watch the jack of clubs on both sides just like that it becomes the card box. From here, you can switch it for a real card box or do anything that you like.